I can't center my life. Well, hey y'all, and welcome back to my channel. I've been doing way too many hand videos lately, so I just don't know what to do with my hands. Today, we're gonna be talking about Amazon. Clearly, basically everyone that's watching this video knows what Amazon is, but it is like near and dear to my heart because I can basically find anything for any reason and for no reason at all. So there have been a few things that have been just sitting in my cart for a while. You know how you can do the like save for later feature? Yeah, it was really large in there and I didn't even buy everything, but I bought a few things that were like pretty reasonably priced and I wanted to do a haul for you guys because it's like super random stuff but I just wanted to show you. Um, there are a few things that I have purchased that I've never used before, and um, I think there's only one thing in here that I've used before that I absolutely love, so let's talk about that first. So the first thing that I purchased was this Neutrogena Anti-Residue Shampoo, and I love this stuff. It comes in a really small like shampoo bottle, like it's not as big as like the normal shampoos out there, this is six fluid ounces. It's a couple bucks. It's not like crazy expensive or anything, but this formula, I don't know what it is. I have super oily skin and hair, and this formula makes my hair feel so nice at the scalp. Like I showered a few hours ago, but I can already like kind of feel the oils, especially back here in my hair. I try not to touch it too much. Like I touch down here more, um, but yeah. And I only condition like from here down, like the ends of my hair. I don't really do anything to the top of my hair for conditioner because that'll contribute to the oils. But even though I don't have like product buildup because I don't use any products on my hair at all, um, this, just makes it so good and you just kind of like scratch it and lather it in and it's just amazing. So I love this stuff. It's not something that I use every day. This is maybe like a once a week kind of uh, shampoo. I do have to shampoo my hair every single day, but yeah, I love this stuff and it's amazing. I'm gonna link everything that I talk about down below. Forgot to say that at the beginning, but that's what's gonna happen. So let's get into the other random things. This is like such a random haul. Okay, and this I got Cosmed, 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 Cosmed. I don't know. That's what I got. It's a came in this really nice little box, and oh, I basically bought this because I'm too cheap to get the. I think it's Nurse Jamie one. Um, I'll link that one too if you're interested. This looks like a medieval torture device, but it's not. It's like one of those like uplift um, things that you roll on your face and neck it actually feels really good and it's like really cooling too yes Ooh, it feels nice so i okay let me stop doing that because it feels really nice though it feels like really nice Ooh, yeah yeah so these face rollers they could be like a total gimmick but this one was like pretty inexpensive considering how expensive like other face rollers are but I have been watching um, for years. I've been watching her for years. Tati from Glam Life, Glam Life Guru. She uses the, it's like a purple one. I think it's Nurse Jamie is um, the brand or who it's from. But she uses one and she swears by it. She actually like rolls in like her moisturizer and like serums and stuff at night and just like uses it and it just feels good. Um, so anyway, I decided to go with a cheaper version because I was like, I wanna try this out and see if it's like, anything halfway decent, but you're supposed to like roll up and it's supposed to help with like skin stuff and I don't know. But here's what it says on the little like thingamajig. It's a face and body massage beauty roller. Simply roll the unique hexagonal, oh roll, so you simply roll the unique hexagonal roller all over the skin to leave it feeling energized and enhanced. Uh, the geranium stone, which is the little black guys on here, uh, it says the beauty roller is encrusted with 30 massaging stones containing geranium powder, tightening and energizing the skin. And then you have like your, this spins and then you've got like your staple handle. And then you can do all these things apparently to your body. So you can use it for your forehead, your cheeks, your collarbone, upper arm, your hands, neck, your shoulder and spine. And you can also use it on your calves. And then it says, 
gently roll up and down or left and right, but to like roll it up is better, it sounds like. So I'm very excited that I finally bit the bullet and have this. Um, like I said, it's been sitting in my cart for like a long freaking time. But, and it came with like this little like carrying pouch too. Like you can just kind of whoop, drop it in. I don't know, it's like velvet. I don't know if I'd actually like use the pouch, but it's in there. Okay, on to the next thing, which for some reason I couldn't find just one. They had to come in a pack of two, which I'm not really sure why, but whatever. But they are, it's a five piece set of face facial mud applicator mixing brushes. So as some of you guys know that watch the vlogs or maybe even watching my channel for a while, I love a good face mask. So the issue that I find with face masks though, and these are all the same, it's hard to see. They're all exactly the same. I don't know why I need this many. Are these the same too? Yeah, they're all the same. They're all the same size. Okay. I'm just gonna take one out. They're all the same size. I love to do a good face mask and I try to do, so my goal always is at least like once a month, but my real goal is like once a week. So the issue that I have is that I have really oily skin as we just talked about, but this like synthetic, almost paint brushy feeling thing, I feel would be like better to put on my skin with like a mask to like help spread it out evenly. I know that there's some like makeup brands that have like actual silicone brushes to help spread out out. Um, I don't really have a problem like cleaning my brushes. I know some people like have a real problem cleaning their brushes and they never do. But um, yeah, I have now 10 of these, which I only need like a couple because if they get gunky, that's okay. And I'll just wash it out in the, in the sink and uh, clean it up with my regular cleaning agent, which I just use baby shampoo, and that's how I clean all of my makeup brushes. But anyway, um, these aren't like the super best quality, but I didn't want to invest in some really, really expensive brushes for just applying mud masks and stuff that kind of seemed redundant. So yeah, but I'll, I'll use these, I'm excited. And I feel like this is a little bit more sterile than like using my hands that are already like have oils in them already, even if I clean my hands. This is like maybe a little bit more sterile. I don't know. The beauty community tells me that I'm supposed to do that, so I'm gonna try and do it. <laughs> Here's another item that I have seen on TV and I've seen it on, I don't know, was this on Shark Tank? It might have been. This is called the Tub Shroom. Um, this actually sits, okay, so I've read like a million reviews on these. I have hair as you can see I've, I've got hair y'all and i try my best to brush out my hair right before i hop in the shower i'm really diligent about it i wasn't always diligent about it back when i was like a teenager sorry mom and dad um but my you know we we all lose like a certain amount of follicles a day like that just happens so in the shower clearly that happens as well i wanted to get something like this that like grabbed the hair and so this sits just a little bit above of the opening and grabs all the hair and gunk and stuff and then you just kind of pull it out of your opening and then you're able to like easily um, pull your hair out or pull the hair out of this and then like stick it right back in. So it's supposed to like grab all your hairs, which I think is kind of awesome. And it had pretty good reviews online. There were some of them that I saw that like you pushed it all the way in and like some people said that those didn't always work because they weren't always the right size and all that stuff, so I'm not sure. But this is for uh, bathtub drains specifically. And like I said, I'll link this below. I think this came in other, uh, not sizes, but other colors. Um, and I just went with the white because I've got a white tub and it just kind of will look the same. And also talking about the bathroom and hair and all these other random things, um, I got this. It's from Vital Goods and it's a scalp massaging shampoo brush. Oh my god, it's vibrating. I did not know that. Weird. Okay. Like I said, this stuff has been sitting in my cart for a long time, so I might have known that at one point. And you know what's weird about my Amazon habits. I don't know if you guys are the same way. I'm trying to pull this like little sticker off. I will put like four different iterations of this in my cart and then I'll make a final decision like from there. I'm just kind of weird like that. Like I just want to put like all of them in the cart and then make a decision of what I want to do. So yeah. So here is the scalp brush. So 
I've heard on the internet, and um, maybe this is a marketing ploy, I don't know. Apparently when you have like your shampoo or even just to give yourself a, sh a scalp massage, you can like, you know, put this on your head and, you know, rub it in or whatever. It's got like a little like on and off thing where my thumb is, but it's not on clearly. Let's take a look here. In the little box, it's got like a little screwdriver. Oh, okay, cool. All right, so it gave me a little bit of information. Ah, here we go. All right, so you can like pop this off and then you take this little guy and there is like a little battery component in here. Why are you so difficult to open? This whole like lefty loosey thing isn't really working out for me. I got it open and um, I put a battery in here. It takes one AA battery. The battery does not come with it. And then you just kind of pop this sucker back on, put the little thing back in there and then tighten it up again and by the way this like this thing kind of sucks I really wish it was uh, more of an Allen wrench style so I don't know be a little bit easier but that's okay all right and the nice thing is you can clean this pretty easily too so um, this is just like a silicone thing place on the top and then put your little ring on again and then just snap it so there you go so you turn it on can you guys hear that that ah. i don't know if i'd actually use the vibration i kind of more wanted it to just like you know get the soap in there really good that was kind of my catalyst for purchasing it but whatever anyway the battery's in there in case I wanna use that. Again, I got a white one. I know there's lots of other colors out there. I'm not sure if this Vital Goods one comes in a different color or not, but um, I, you know, you guys know me. I'm attracted to neutral things. I like pretty much everything white and cream and beige and gray in my house. So, you know, you know. Also another totally random purchase are these silicone bakeware molds. So they're just cupcake liners. That's it. It came in like this. Um, let me show you. And this is a set of 12. And let me tell you guys how hard it is to find silicone cupcake liners that are not colorful. Do you know how hard that is? There's like all these crazy colors, but is there a clear or a white out there? I mean, apparently there is, because I'm holding it in my hands really difficult to find so anyway I had thrown these in my cart a while back and you know now I have them but I absolutely love these I think that these are so so nice and you can definitely use them in baking like muffins or cupcakes also another thing I've seen so many people use especially on like Pinterest and you know in the YouTube world as well is if you have like lunch boxes or kids lunch boxes is to like put little things inside of here so like nuts or cheese or like little things in like your kids lunch boxes or your own lunch box um so you don't have to keep like reusing plastic bags and things like that so anyway but i love these and if you guys are neutral like me you'll love them as well i also have in my cart still the mini ones and i haven't gotten those ones yet but these are a um a dozen so they're a set of 12 but i'm excited to use these and i may have a baking video coming up in the near future where I may use these. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use these yet, but it is like a cupcake situation. So I'm excited about that. And then the last thing I got, I'm very, very, like the organizational Emily is very excited about this. Um, this was a recommendation from, if you guys follow on Instagram, the home edit, I highly suggest that you do. If you love everything color coordinated and absolutely Pinterest pretty, Follow the home edit. If you wanna see what hot messes that these women and their whole team actually is, follow their Instagram stories. You won't be sorry, they're hilarious. The owner's names are Clea and Joanna and they are moms that live in Nashville, Tennessee and they're super funny. Um, but anyways, I appreciate their kind of humor. Some people don't like their humor and they just wanna see the pretty pictures so you can always just like mute them, you know? So anyway, this is called Clear Museum Gel. They are professional organizers. So I have like that museum putty that's like, 
I think it's like a blue color, but it ends up like kind of staining my drawers and my drawer liners, and I don't like that, but I have, I've had it for years. I think I got it at like the Dollar Tree or something. This is the same type of stuff, but it's clear. Like, it's all gel, and you put it on the underside of your organizers so they won't slip or, you know, rattle in your drawer every time you open it, and you just put it on the little feet. And yeah, so it's it's just gel. It's just gel, you guys. But yeah, clear museum gel. But I'm excited about this. Mm -hmm. And then you just take a little dollop of it and you use it. I'm excited. <laughs> More organizing projects are coming up in the future with this bad boy. Anyway, but that is it for my random Amazon haul. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will link all of the products that I talked about down below. If you have any like go-to items or absolutely amazing items from Amazon that you like, let me know down below. I would love to check them out. I'm all about making life a little bit easier with all the amazing things that you can find on Amazon. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope to see you next time as well. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye guys! Well folks, it's time to kick it old school.